we've got a leadership team of uh, 15 people we work with. We've been working with them for about four months. And actually, more accurately, we worked with them for four months, but then narrowed the team temporarily to a vision team of about six, seven people that are going to create the strategic direction for the company that the leadership team will then implement, introduce, and make um, happen. And in the course of doing this, one of the things I've been reminded of, I got a uh, phone call after the last meeting, and they felt like that meeting number six was the best yet. And what I've been reminded of is it's fascinating. If you can make people thirsty or hungry for something, then they naturally will go eat, drink, what needs to be eaten and drunken. Uh, this reminds me of a quote from a book called The Prince that says, rather than building ships, teach people to yearn for the sea, and then they will build the ships and uh, do a lot, many other great things. So in the course of this, rather than trying to necessarily assume they're thirsty or hungry, or teach them or make them do certain things. What's been very exciting, we've focused more on creating the thirst, creating that hunger. As that hunger's gotten bigger and bigger, as that thirst is strengthened, it's allowed us to teach and very quickly move to a very high level in working with them. It's made it very exciting, it's made it very fun, and this is a company, uh, I believe we've got about 180 people in it at this point, and so it's very exciting seeing what they're doing, the growth that's occurring both internally, but also they're poised on the edge of a lot of external growth. So rather than trying to get your people thirsty, or rather than trying to teach or train your people, instead focus on getting them to yearn for the open sea, get them thirsty, get them hungry, then I think you'll find it a lot easier to get the result you're trying to get.